Well, thank you, Eric. And now to the inspiring story of a local wrestler for Centennial Middle School, Sam Byram, the first ever blind wrestler in Wyoming. I got to spend a few days with the Eagles, getting to know Sam and seeing firsthand how one kid's desire to try a sport with his friends is changing the lives around him one takedown at a time. This is what wrestling practice looks like, but rather sounds like to Sam Byram, the first blind wrestler for the Centennial Eagles. Well, Sam started basically October 15th, had never done any sport whatsoever, so he stepped out onto the mat. And from where he started, basically not knowing a single thing and not being able to see anything, he's come quite a long ways. Sam, who never participated in sports before moving to Wyoming, now sees the world in a new light thanks to wrestling. I just try and I'll just ask, I'll just follow what we're supposed to do in wrestling and just do it. As Sam's presence is an inspiration for his teammates and coaches, it also comes with a unique learning experience. It changes the way that you have to dis describe how a move is done. So rather than showing a kid, you actually have to describe, use different language to be able to help him out. So that's been a, a real change from from sighted people so that I mean that that's been actually I think a good thing for me to grow as a coach as well. Referring's like a thing that shows if you don't have like a disability you can still do something just as well as normal people. I feel like it brings a lot of confidence uh, for the team because he, he obviously he can't see what he's doing but he finds a way and he gets double legs and he gets the halves and he works them really good and like he puts kids on their backs he, he's just like one of the team and it brings a lot of confidence for us. Sam a stranger to the mat embodies teamwork for the Eagles. I'll be honest uh, we've been really fortunate to have Robin Alley his uh, aid from school comes with him every single day so she does a lot of the coaching. Grab these two. Grab. Are you grabbing your hand? There you go. Can you reach it? Now roll me back. Roll your back. Roll me back. back. Sam's go-to move? Like to sprawl on them. Yes. Back and put my head, put like my head on top of their head and put my chest on top of their body maybe. So I spin around to the back. Yeah, spin around to the back. All of which he used to win his duel against CY. Let's see, we did a single leg and a trip. We did a sprawl with a go-behind. Trojan, Trojan yeah. a half. Gosh, job, buddy. Dude, I, need, I need a high a five. Good job, Woo! Bob. Adversity brings out the best of us, and Sam, along with the Eagles, shows us just how it is done. <laughs> Hallie Jones, K2TV. You guys, it's absolutely inspiring. Nice. I got teary-eyed watching him do his duel. I, I can't imagine doing something like that yes. and having... Bringing his friends along too. I mean, just inspiring his friends to be better yeah, for themselves that's and a great story. overcoming a pretty big obstacle. Yes. Well, Carmine. Huge. Great job by you, Hal. Thank what an you. amazing story. And